Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So I hope everybody is having a great Saturday today. Yay! <laughs> we made it to the weekend, you guys. Um, I'm here doing a random collective reading. Okay, this reading is for the collective, so it's not going to be for all of you. Um, so just don't try to force anything, right? Take what resonates, leave the rest. You know the drill. And thank you so much, everyone. I love you guys. Thank you for all of the kindness you guys give me every day, the likes, the subscribes. Thank you, thank you, everybody new here. Hi, I'm Becca. And um, also, I want to put, I want to tell you guys, I'm not doing any personal readings of any kind. I'm never going to solicit you for anything, right? Um, so. If there's someone in the comment section that's trying to solicit any personal readings or anything like that, I want you to know they may they have my picture, but they're not me. Okay, that's not me. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. All right, so what I'm seeing here so far in this reading is um, there's a I feel like there's a karmic individual here that is realizing they're going to have a tough time. Um, I'm getting the sense that they're out on their own now and uh, maybe they've broken free from a masculine. They didn't want to. I feel like this person really wants to just, this karmic really wants to just sit around and collect things. Like um, they just want somebody to take care of them. They want to collect all of the abundance. They want to not have a job. They want to not work. And they're they're like, oh no, I'm not going down a long road on my own without somebody taking care of me, right? Um, and so I feel like they may even ask somebody, um, will you take care of me? Will you provide for me? That kind of thing. No, the sad news that this karmic is getting and I feel like it's a karmic because they really just want to use people for abundance now. They don't want to work. But they're being told here, whoever they're talking to, um, they're being told they need to get a job. Very sad news for this karmic because they were hoping to be provided for. I feel like at one point they were. I feel like somebody has... Um, taking care of this person they've been very codependent but now they're being told they've got to get a job okay I get the sense that they were hoping that somebody would just gift them and take care of them and you know um, share their share their money with them provide for them um, they wanted to be the main female I, I kind of get the sense that um, maybe they thought at one point they were the main female here, but they're realizing very quickly that no one's going to help them. Um, and look, they're looking through the one ads right now. Oh, darn it. I've got to get a job, but that's such a long, long road. Yeah, see, this karmic just wants to continue to be codependent. And whoever they're asking for money now, whoever they're asking for support, um, is not helping them. So, yeah, I feel like there's a masculine energy who's on their way to you, actually. I'm feeling this high honors as it looks like a masculine who's leaving this karmic behind, done taking care of them, done providing for them. Um, yeah, and this karmic is realizing they got no one. They got to stand on their own two feet. They've got to become independent. They've got to get their own job. And I'm, I'm getting the feeling like this masculine is on their way to you. You have all this unexpected money here. I feel like you're about to be a rich person. This could be you being gifted with something that's going to, you know, I feel like you've been the main female here. This karmic may have thought that they were some kind of empress, you know, not needing to do anything, everybody taking care of them. They thought, but that's not the way to be an empress. And if, if becoming an empress takes a lot of hard work. It takes effort. You need to be independent to be an empress, and this person is not. They may even have a hard time finding a job. If this, it could have been years that this karmic hasn't worked, that this masculine has provided for them. So, yeah, they're like, uh, I don't even want to look for a job. Look at them. I don't want to look for a job. Pfft. Yeah. They're being told they have to. No, you got to go and stand on your own two feet. 
I feel like this person just wanted to be gifted. They wanted to be spoiled. They wanted to live maybe a life of luxury here um, and just take from somebody, but they can't. They're not allowed to do that anymore. All right. Yeah, some, there's some kind of Page of Wands energy. This could be this Karmic's energy as well. Just very immature. Um, very immature, wanting to just do whatever they want willy-nilly. Yeah, somebody's getting some kind of news here. I feel like this is this Karmic's energy. Just feeling... Feeling stupid. And there's a masculine energy over here that is really sick and sad that they walked away from you. I feel like they're walking away from a lot of people here, but this person is feeling guilty that they ghosted you before, okay? Um, I feel like now they realize who you are. You could be dealing with a, a Leo Aries Sagittarius. They're realizing that you're actually this main female. They're realizing that you're getting all this unexpected money. And I feel like this person, they're carrying the burdens of this now. Yeah, in a lot of regret because they know they, know they chose uh, this karmic over you. There was no love there. They were only after their money. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This person could feel like a complete and utter fool. You could be dealing with the Leo Aries Sagittarius. Yeah. And I feel like, you know what? Um, this karmic individual wanted to live beyond their means. And this masculine now who's leaving them behind, they're having to carry all of the financial burdens. Okay? Any bills that this karmic has racked up, any credit card bills, because yeah, they were living beyond their means, I feel. And now they're, they're, they're walking away from this karmic, leaving the karmic behind, feeling in a lot of regret, a lot of sorrow, remorse. You're the one that they hold in high regard here. They hold you in high honors, okay? And I feel like um, you're becoming wealthy here. And this person, they're having just a major tower moment in their life. Everything is kind of falling apart here. I feel like this is uh, for this King of Wands. Let's just call him the King of Wands, Hermit Energy. They're making a decision in love that they want you. You're the one that they want. See how they're, they're bringing you this little trophy cup, okay? You're the one that they want. But, yeah, after what they've done to you, yep, here they come with the love offer. This person's in love with you. They want to get back together. After they've, what they've done to you, though, collective, they don't know if they'll be able to get back in. They're about to talk to you, though. This person wants you back. Look at this. They can't stop thinking about you. Um, they remember how you, how you treated them before. And I feel like as this person approaches, they're hoping that you're open to their love again. But um, I don't know that you will be. I feel like you're focused on your money. You're focused on, um, you know, maybe you're saving a lot of money. Maybe you're making some plans with that money. Because I see you sitting here thinking like, hmm, what am I going to do with all this money, right? <laughs> hmm. And you've got your back turned to this person. So you don't even realize that they're coming forward, but they are collective. They may even have a ring for you here with the Page of Pentacles and uh, and the Four of Wands. They could be realizing that you are their tw uh, twin flame. This could be a twin flame soulmate connection. You could be the Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine. Take it how it resonates, right? Yeah, they're making a judgment call. You could be making a judgment call. Like, I'm not doing this anymore. You could be in a time of celebration here. Partying, get-togethers, celebrating this unexpected money that you've got coming in. Um, I feel like this is going to um, upgrade your life here. Yeah, this person is heartbroken. I feel like they're wondering who, who else do you have around you 
Do you have anyone else around you? Um, are, are you dating anyone else? What are you doing? Where are you, you know, this person now they've, they've made it so that you're so far out of their life um, that they don't know anything about what you're doing now. And I feel like it's driving them kind of crazy. Yeah, they see this coming to an end here. You're in a time of celebration. I feel like you're making the judgment call and freeing yourself from this. That's what this feels like here. You're freeing yourself from the situation. You're no longer focused on this person or this connection. They could possibly feel this cutoff. Okay. And um, yeah, they're feeling heartbroken. This person's coming in. They're coming forward, not knowing what you're doing, not knowing if you're dating anyone else. They could even see you at a function here. Yeah, it's time for them to tell the truth here. Get ready for this communication. It's coming, it's coming in. Or they could be finding out that you have a new soulmate connection here. Clarify this, Two of Cups. They could be finding out that you have somebody new for some of you and you're keeping it a secret. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And they're missing an opportunity here. Okay, so I feel like this person is trying to find out, you know, behind the scenes. They could be looking at your social media. They could be talking to other people. They could be asking people around you in your inner circle what you're up to. I don't know how they're finding out, but this person finds out something that causes a tower moment for them, like a crushing moment, okay? A realization um, they find something out that you either have a new soulmate connection that's making you very happy or you soon will you're gonna get your wish fulfillment with somebody new and you're keeping it a secret so you know I feel like you're just your private life is private it's not that you're keeping a secret it's just that you're not talking about it you're not telling anybody in in my life um, personally I've already I've all even told my family you know if I start seeing somebody new I'm not gonna tell you uh-uh and now I feel like we've we've hit a time of our in our lives where um, our our schedule is kind of being freed up um, we have a lot of time to do stuff we don't have a lot of people around us because we've been isolated by everybody so much that you know what they don't know what we're doing anymore and that is keeping us protected so I feel like um, if this person found out who it was that you were dating they may try to sabotage this okay and uh, yeah I feel like you this is why you're just keeping your private life private it's not like you're trying to keep secrets from anyone you're just keeping your private life on the down low and um, this person, they know they're going to find out real quick that they missed out on a blessing in love here. See, yeah, I feel like they would do anything they could to change that. So that's why you're not speaking about anything, because you know. You know the people that have been around you. You know the ones who you can't trust. You know who's been talking about you behind your back. You know who's going to be trying to sabotage things. You just have... You have knowing here. You have um, uh, intuition, heavy intuition. Like you already know what they would do. And that's why you don't share this information with anyone. Mm-hmm. Because pretty much everyone around you, you can't trust. Yep. Yeah, I feel like, and it's because you've been put through it, but you realize, and here you are, out here being sexy, beautiful, you could be um, a Leo Aries Sagittarius, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe. I feel like um, you're just grabbing a hold of this new beginning and running with it. You've been through it. And you're not, um, you're, you're keeping your personal life personal, but you're out here having a good time. You're out here possibly meeting other people. You're enjoying your life right now. You're doing the things that make you happy. 
and you know that if you told anybody of your plans and and anything about any new relationships somebody would want to come in and ruin it they would want to do all they could to ruin it because that's the kind of people you've had in your inner circle yeah so you're keeping your mouth shut nobody needs to know and um, you're protecting anything new here um, with the energy of the queen of wands she's the warrior okay you're putting both feet down you're like nope yeah anyone who has turned your back turned their back on you in the past anybody who um ignored you before anyone who wasn't supporting you in the past man i feel like they're out and whoever this is they're they're they know it they know it they're finding this out you could be dealing with the libra gemini aquarius they weren't there for you before they turned their back on you so you know what the door is shut boom wheel of fortune they could be finding out that you're getting a lot of money here they could be finding out that um, your life is changing very quickly i mean the wheel of fortune brings in a lot of heavy change right big changes but it's turning in your in your favor and i'm seeing this as a big giant vault door that's shut this person can't see what's going on look at them they can look they can try but they can't see anything hermit energy you could be dealing with the virgo this is all they can think about here it's all that they can think about is your abundance where it is that you're going in life who are you with who are you dating where are you going what are your plans this is all this is all they think about and you're not letting anybody know anything because they don't deserve to know your personal life. Yeah, I feel like this is your energy. Just, pr yep, protecting yourself. Yep. Yep, you're protecting yourself with this sword. You're blocking people out. You're blocking their energy out. Um, you could be doing some cleansings, um, protecting your energy, right? Staying prayed up, that kind of thing. But you're making a decision that you don't, you know what, you don't need to talk to anybody. You don't need to see anyone from your past. You don't need to, you know, some of you don't even want to hear what they have to say anymore. But you are certainly sitting here protecting anything new, new that you've got coming in. Oh, yeah. And I feel like there's, um, there's people out here that are getting jealous. I just keep looking at this lion face here they're angry they're jealous they they don't know what you're doing and they're not allowed to know <laughs> and they need to just deal with that okay yeah because these are people who lie cheat betray you have in and out energy backstab you talk about you behind your back think they can get away with everything that they do laugh about it um they're opportunists they they could steal from you this is the, the people all they want to do is ruin what you got going on that's all that they want to do and i feel like you're just done you could totally be a gemini libra gemini aquarius and i feel like this person's getting angry angry because they can't see what you're doing you know, and yet at the same time, they can't stop trying to find out what you're doing. Okay? It's ridiculous. You know what? I feel like you're at this point where you're just doing you. You're, you know, moving on with your life. And you're not telling anybody. You're just done being backstabbed and betrayed over and over and over again. You definitely have someone from your past here that would want to sabotage any new relationship that you've got going on, okay? And you're, um, you're being upgraded in your life right now, too. I feel like you're just choosing a new path. I feel like this is your energy. You're just like, you know what? I'm on a new path now. I'm starting a new life now. I'm done. Some of you could be traveling. You could be making a house move. Um, yeah, you're, you're leaving people behind and there's, there's a, 
a particular masculine here that hates it, okay? They hate it because they don't, they, you won't let them see anything that you're doing. Um, all right, let's see what your advice is. I feel like, you know what, um, you're coming in pretty strong. You know what it is that you want, what it is that you don't want. Um, you're not sharing any information with anyone. If they're trying to find any info on you, you're blocking, you're, you have these people blocked already. Like, you know what you're doing here because you know the kind of people that you've been dealing with. That's really sad, though, you know? Everyone around you I, I, that you can't trust. All right, so, and that's for someone. If there's, you know, if there's anyone in your family that's still around you, you can't, you can't trust who you, who you give any information to because people talk about you behind your back. All right, so what advice? Some of you could be making a house move, a location change. Some of you may need to just to get away from these people. That's what I heard. Some of you may need to um, just to get away from people who want to be all up in your business and ruin what you got going on. I feel like, um, yeah, there's also people out there, you know, all that glitters is not gold, right? You're realizing who's for you and who isn't. Um, people are taking off their masks. They, you see everybody for who they are now. That's what this is. You see everyone for who they are now. And I feel like um, maybe you felt stuck, like you couldn't go anywhere, but the divine is saying that you can. I feel like they may be trying to get you to um, change a location here. Some of you may still feel um, like you're obligated to say, stay around some people, but um, they're trying to get you to a new location, okay? I feel like they're trying to get you away from fake people that you can already see are fake. All the masks are off. And they're trying to bring you to people who are going to be loyal to you, especially like if you already have a new connection. I feel like they're trying to they're trying to get you on a new path, a new life, right? Um so that you two can build a new future together, free from all the BS, free from all these fake individuals, okay? Um, yeah, they, I feel like the divine wants you to start new, new. They hold you in very high regard. You're on a pedestal here. Um, you're going to be receiving some messages, if you haven't already, that they're trying to move you to a new location for whoever this is for. And you know, this isn't going to be for all of you, but... Yeah, I feel like they're trying to get you away from fake individuals so that your future blessings do not get sabotaged. Because you've got new love in your life, somebody loyal, or you will if you go to a new location. Maybe that's where you'll meet this new person. But you're getting the messages here with your in, like intuitive messages, right? of where the divine is trying to lead you here in your new cycle. Um, possibly in a dream state, you could be getting some downloads, some messages in your dreams. But I really sense that they're trying to lead you away from people in situations that are just no longer for you. Because the longer you stay around these people that are fake, um, the more chance you have of getting your blessings sabotaged. So pay attention to your intuition. Listen to the messages, right? And um, yeah, you're being led out of here. That's pretty much what it feels like. Um, so anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this message. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe, right? And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.